Hey guys, I'd like to, um, I want to share a story um, that is quite personal to me and I feel like this will help someone that's out there struggling with manic and um, who can't control themselves when they're in that state. Um, just letting you know if anyone's going through that situation, you're not alone. People are going through that issues. I've went through that. And, um, <clears throat> I had a manic episode and I didn't even realize it. And, um, I went to Hawaii while I was in the United States of America. And, um, it was scary. It wasn't scary at the time when I, it was just looking back at it, it was scary. Like, what in the hell happened in that state of mind? And um, I went to Hawaii, right? I went to Hawaii. I had voices talking to me that I had to buy a ticket and um, go to Hawaii and um, do all these things. And I was, my heart rate was really high. My anxiety was pretty high as well. And um, it was pretty unreal, guys. Like, um, I didn't know it, but I was talking to voices. Like, I didn't know it. Like, I thought it was real. I was talking to voices and um, I was having a discussion. And... I was following them to do whatever I need to follow. And I went to Hawaii and uh, when I arrived there from the airport, from, yeah, I was, from the beginning, I was guiding me. Like something was guiding me to go this direction, that direction, to go around, to buy something. And um, on that note, I bought like... I used up all my savings and somehow I got out of there and I did all sorts of things in the hotel when I was there I even managed to get myself a hotel room and um, and then I made a video and that video is not um, live anymore because I don't know someone went to my account and deleted all my videos and, um, yeah, so that happened, and, um, at that time, I was uploading videos, I was doing stuff, I was talking to my cousins, um, in a WhatsApp chat, group chat, and, um, yeah, so, it was frustrating, it was just, I don't know how I did it. I don't know how it ha all happened at once. But, um, yeah, I tried to do that. And my voices followed the instructions that they gave me. And, um, and in, the, in the hotel room, um, in the inter hotel area, I took one picture, right? Don't know if I have it still, but um, the thing is that I was like, thought I was going back in time. Uh, I was talking to people, random people, and um, saying things like Christmas and stuff like that because it was Christmas period, I think. Not sure. Um, and. Um, yeah, I thought I was dying if I didn't do something in the right time. I thought I was going back in time if I didn't say that already. And I could turn time or go back in time. It was really surreal and unreal experience. And um, so, and it was pretty scary. And I thought I was like a prophet. And I thought I was like talking to voices. I was doing upside down crosses. Um, with my hands, um, like like Antichrist cross, whatever, 
And, um, yeah, I taught all of that. Like, I'm gifted God or whatever. I don't know, God or prophet or whatever. But, um, yeah, it was all surreal, scary, um, unbelievable. And I don't know how I am stayed alive. There was a point where I was in the roof of the hotel and I thought I was supposed to jump off it. And I didn't, but um, they told me to, to jump. But I didn't. So that happened. So yeah, so all of that. And somehow I went back to US, called my parents to buy me a ticket so I can get back to Australia. And uh, I didn't have any control, guys. I didn't have control. I didn't like always oh, like um, someone like came over me. I, like I thought I had control. I thought I was me. I thought I was thinking straight. I thought I was you know in another level of thinking. Like oh, I'm better than anyone else. But it was all my mental health. And uh, just wasn't feeling right. Wasn't feeling right at all. And needed medication. I needed help and support. And I didn't have that. And I didn't even take support. Or I didn't have any. I didn't like deal with my mental health at the time. Um, no one told me to. I turned me into my into a hospital to in order to um, sort out my issues and my problems and my health as well and my brain. So, yeah, guys, that's a problem. If you guys are going through something, please get help. Admit yourself into a mental ward. Get some help. Um, Talk to someone. Uh, I know mental health, mental wards are not always helpful, and they can like, like um, um, harm you in some way because of the environment. Everybody's you know deteriorated, and it may not be always the right space to recover. But some mental wards are good, and um. I think it's good to get yourself ad, um, admitted so you can get help from doctors, so um, um, nurses and psych psychiatrists can help you with whatever you're going through. Um, and then you can go to your GP after when you um, get out of there and when you safely exit the ward when you get discharged basically and then um you go to your GP and you get um um or not GP but like your psychologist or psychiatrist and get some support and especially your medication which should be helpful but um yeah it can be it can be really hard so Stay strong, stay there. I know it's not always, it's, you think it's tough and everything, uh, you think like cra life is crashing down on you, but you can be, be strong. There is light after the dark tunnel. Light through the tunnel? I know what, <laughs> I know what the saying is, but well, something like that, something like that. But, um, There is hope, there is light at the end of the day, um, reach for it, strive for it, and everything will be right. If you guys want more, I don't know if I have more stories, this is one of them, but yeah, hope you guys get something out of this.